Hi, this is Tim. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the equation y equals mx plus b, which is used to scale many 4 to 20 milliamp signals that we use in process control. Note that this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. But used to, it was written in many of the PLCs. This is a knock and rockwell. In many of them, it is a guessing match to figure out what these values are. But if we double click on this module here, it's going to bring up the module properties. And then right here, we have the configuration tab. And if we look at it, here it is. Our low engineering is 3277, and our high engineering is 16383. Now, this is one of those that we need to do a little math on. And I know a lot of times when I start saying math, I get glazed over looks. But really, if we walk through this slowly, then I think we can do it. And hopefully I have enough of what we need down here to walk through this math. Because what we're going to use is what they call y equals mx plus b. And when I say that, everybody's heard of it. And everybody kind of remembers it. But then it's like, all right, I really don't know what it is. So if we look... Here it is, y equals mx plus b. And yeah, I'm not even going to put this in the present mode. We're just going to do this like this. And so our y is our scaled value. So in this case, what I want to scale this to is I'm going to scale it to 4 to 20 milliamps. So I want this to end up being 4 to 20 milliamps. Now, yeah, I know usually you wouldn't make it 4 to 20. Usually it's going to be some real value. But let's start there just so we can understand it. And then we're going to have a slope here, and that's m. And this is going to be the ratio between our scaled value and our raw value. So we're going to figure out, you know, how many units of that 16, whatever, 383 to 3277, or the opposite way, right, right here it is. 3277 to 16383 is going to equal this 4 to 20 milliamp signal. So we're going to, we're going to need to figure that slope out there. And then, man, guys, I'm sorry. I'm really struggling with my screens being backwards. But then, but then we're going to have an offset. And the offset's really important on 4 to 20 because it's by far the most confusing thing when it comes to scaling things is we have what's called a live zero. And what that means is zero is not our zero. Four is our zero. So we have to account for that. So let's talk first about what is M, because M, usually everybody can follow pretty good. So it's the milliamp full range divided by the raw full range. And you know, actually, I have that backwards. So let me, let me correct that. It is not. Oh, yeah, it is. I have something wrong here. Where did I go wrong? Oh, that's wrong. This is wrong. So I cut that out. Big grief. I hope that's not wrong to the whole thing. But hey. Like I said, everybody keeps saying your videos are scripted. Uh, no, they're not. But okay, so that's going to be our full milliamp range divided by this raw range. And okay, where did I get these numbers? Let's make sure we don't get confused here. This 16, 383, and this 3277, that is the range of our engineering units. So our low value or the 4 milliamp value is 3277. Our high engineering is 16,383. So then, what is B? Well, in the case of this, B is whatever that offset's going to be. And for us, it's going to be 4 right now. Because we're going to scale this to 4 to 20 milliamps. Now, later on, we're going to change it. I don't even know where we're going to change it to now. Let's make it a level. <laughs> so we're going to change it to a level sensor. And so typically a level sensor, let's say it's a pressure type level sensor, it's going to be 0 to 10 volt, and, or sorry, 0 to 10 PSI. And in that case, 1 PSI is going to be 2.31 feet. And so 0 to 10 PSI equals 0 to 21.3 feet. And we'll get to that in a little bit. But right now we're just going to use 4 for that B. Now this is the one that confuses most people is X. And that's because X does not equal your analog input. And that's what everybody always wants to do is, you know, they don't want to plug in their local colon four colon everything after that for our analog input. But it's not because we have a live zero. And so our zero in this case is the analog input minus that raw milliamp, four milliamp value. 
And that means that X is going to leak equal our analog input minus the 3277, which is our low value. So if we put that all together and, okay, I did it right here. Did I just, yeah, I typed that wrong. I did something wrong earlier, but okay, we're right now. We're cooking with gas now. So right here, that means if we put it all together, our Y is still going to be our scaled milliamp value. And that's what we're going for right now. Our slope, or M, is going to be 20 minus 4 divided by 16383 raw 30 minus 3277. Now, I'm leaving these units in here for a reason right now because while it's a small step, I'm going to show you how you can figure out for sure that you have these numbers the right way, and it's something I still have to do. Okay, now the X is going to be the analog input minus 3277. Now, what is the analog input? Well, right here, that's where this is going to come in. Our analog input is that local colon four colon I channel zero. Let's make sure we see. That is what we found our value going at right here. So that is this right here. Okay, so with all that, that means that Y equals the local colon four colon I channel zero minus that 3277 to get rid of that live zero. Now I'm still leaving these rolls in here. Now there's a reason for that. And then times 20 milliamps minus four milliamps divided by 16383 minus 3277 and then plus four because we do have that live zero. Now here's just a little bit of why that is and really I don't want to get too deep into this because, yeah, this is not a math class, but this is how you can kind of keep track of it. And one divided by, or any number, but divided by itself is one. So one divided by one is one. In fact, you know, as crazy as it sounds, let's, let's make sure we see that. Let me bring up a calculator here. And just so we see, yeah, one divided by one obviously equals one. And if we go and put two divided by two, it's gonna equal one. And if we go 27 divided by 27, it's gonna equal one. So any number divided by itself is gonna be one. Now, what we can do with that is also, that means that raw divided by raw is gonna be one. Or, you know, apples divided by apples is gonna be one. Anything divided by itself is gonna be one. So using a little bit of math, first we can get this out of here. And I'm not even, yeah, let's see, do I, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and go through this. So mainly we're removing this and getting it down to right here. And this set of values here, this is four to 20 milliamp, milliamp and milliamp, and this is raw. Well then here we're dividing by raw minus raw. So in this case, if we just skip down, raw divided by raw, those two are going to cancel out. And we end up with local colon four colon input channel zero minus 32,077. And then I just put that times one in there just to see that that goes out. And then everything else is milliamps. Now, somebody put it in chat if you really want me to go deeper into this, because I kind of threw this slide in just, to, just in case somebody really questioned or really wanted to know why. Hey, Daryl, glad you could make it on. We've had an interesting um, stream already. I'm glad you found us. But okay, in the end, here's our equation. So local colon four colon I channel zero data minus 3277 times 20 minus four divided by 13383 minus 3277 plus four. That's going to be our four to 20 milliamp value. Now that's a lot of numbers and we did not come here to do math. We came in here to figure out how to do analog inputs. So what can we do with that? Is I'm gonna highlight this now and I'm gonna copy it. And we are gonna go to our PLC program. Uh, John, you could change it and there are pros and cons to that because mainly what would you want to change it to would be the question because you notice that the data type here is an integer so we are limited in the number so if i put a 4 and a 20 into these values and just said hey i want it to be 4 to 20 then we're not going to get much scaling so typically 
You, there are some that you could do it that way, but typically I see people doing the scaling outside of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our main routine. I'll put a link to the 4 to 20 milliamp lesson series in the description. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.